This is Fred Cap with the Green Industry Web Portal. Landscape planning is a very common skill, but it's often done poorly. Here we're gonna look at several disorders on this large Chinese pistache tree. This tree has been planted with a wire basket left on it. These wires right here will eventually cause damage to the root system, and we believe they should be removed at the top third of the root ball uh, during planting. Some experts disagree with that, but most of us agree at least the first couple rungs of the wire basket should be cut off. Additionally, this tree has developed what's called a girdling root or a stem girdling root. This could be cut early in the life of the root, but at this time, it's almost too large to do anything with. This tree will probably fail during a heavy windstorm. This tree has a number of disorders. A lot of them were started when it was planted maybe a little bit too close to a sidewalk, but now the maintenance folks have pruned a few limbs back in correctly. Another major problem this tree has was probably uh, begun 10, 15 years ago when the tree was planted. Somebody forgot to remove the wire basket, but more importantly, forgot to remove the tie strap that goes around the trunk. Here's the tie strap, which is made out of a seat belt fabric, which is very tough to cut through and is actually girdling the trunk of the tree. At the very least, we need to remove it right now. You can see how the strap is cutting into the bark and it's actually girdling the trunk of the tree. If I come back in this area here and slice the strap with this pocket knife, I should be able to remove it and remove a lot of pressure. Now you can see the damage clearly where the strap is damaging the trunk of the tree. This may recover or it may not recover, but at least we've given it a chance. A very important problem with trees is oftentimes we plant them in too small an area for their root system. Small trees need 100 cubic feet of soil, medium trees need 200 cubic feet of soil, and large trees like this maple need 300 cubic feet of soil to grow well. A maple this size will need an area about 10 foot wide, 18 foot long, a foot and a half deep to provide enough cubic feet of soil for it to grow well. Here we are in front of a large maple tree in a, in a parking lot island, and the tree more or less has outgrown its space. The roots are getting very large up against the curb stones. They hit the curb stones, they turn down. Eventually, as they increase in diameter, they can push the stones out. This red maple tree is in a pretty stressed situation. And even though it's about 15 years old, it hadn't grown very much because it has a very large girdling root system around the tree. In fact, the system is so bad that it completely encircles the trunk and has caused the base of the tree to mushroom over those girdling roots instead of forming proper flares, which means the tree eventually will snap off at this point when the storm comes through. 